customs. I think the game for both men are like morality. It's it's the right order of things. Please, you have to. Say. Or not, you must return of Minala. How do you? Japa 2024 new Nollywood movie opens with a party celebration. We are introduced to some guys talking about leaving the country Nigeria. Mezu is the name of the guy trying to travel out. He explained to a parent telling her the reason why he's leaving. While talking to a lady, a random guy pop in and Mezu isn't happy with the manner of approach. He leaves the spot angrily. The scene then switches to three years ago, where we are introduced to some guys in class learning and they are surprised with what their teacher was teaching them. Back to the present, the four guys celebrated together and in one of them talk about been in the situation of Mezu. They make fun of each other's and laughed. Meanwhile, Mezu introduces his beautiful colleague Kamzi and Bola. They asked Kamzi if she would also like to travel out and she said no. However, her friend told them she would love to travel out of the country, making Paris as her dream country. We are then taken to a scene where Kamsi and Mezu are in a car talking and she tells him it's sad to see him leave. They both talk and she told him about a job which the pay is 100,000 and Mezu promises to be there tomorrow and she said goodbye. Just then she received a call from Zeno, a notorious gang criminal, and she didn't seem to answer it. Inside her apartment, Kamsi put off her candles and heads straight outside to receive a call. We then see a woman begging a man about something and she said it's not fair. Her been lamenting, Mezu come to meet her and she explained that she borrowed 7 million from him, Zeno, to pay back a loan. But Zeno, who seems to be the gang leader name, insists for her to pay what they both agree three months to just one week. Mezu told her to get a lawyer and fight the case saying the house is worth more, in case you are wondering. The woman is Mezu landlady. The next day Mezu heads out and we see a man been beating and Mezu rushes to help him. It seems Mezu wanted to sell his car but the buyer reduced the price to 1.2 million, rather the 1.5 million that both agreed before. On his way Mezu was kidnapped in a van and inside the van, Mezu begged the kidnapper to allow him go with his money saying he plans to use the money to start life there. Fortunately for him, he was freed but he didn't receive his money back. Mezu went back to the dealer shop insisting the dealer planned it all. The dealer isn't having all that and he calls his workers to send him out. He and his friends ride home and his friend mentioned Weizu as the prime suspect and they approach him in his house. He begged and told them it's all Zeno plans and told them that he collected money from him to pay for something important. He begs them and they all left. The movie switches to Kamzi where she was handed a bag of money from a charity fundraiser. A vehicle comes in and in it was Mezu and his friend, Tobe, which he complains that he only has 200,000 in his account plus the 100,000 he would make today, making it 300,000 but his friend then sent him 500,000 and they both hugged in joy. We see Kamzi and Nedu in the staff room where the principal comes in and told him to remember her when he travels. Mezu begged her to receive his payment up front and she agreed and told Kamzi to give him his cut from the charity money. Mezu keep eyeing where the money was kept in. In the examination hall, Mezu leaves the place and goes back into the staff room and opened the locker. He then proceeded to packing all of the cash and an ant bites in which he killed. He left the building with a cab. We the viewer are then taken to another scene, where in the airport, Mezu is summoned by the fight announcer informing him to get to the information desk. On his way, he met Kamzi and he explained to her saying he didn't have a choice but she said he had a choice. Mezu asked why she didn't turn him in and he apologizes and leaves. Kamsi felt betrayed and she left the scene. At the plane, Mezu calls his friends and told him what he had done before the flight attendant comes in and told every individual to turn off their phone. The scene then switches back to 6 a.m. And we see Mezu preparing, but it's looked like he's still in Nigeria and he's in an alternate universe reliving the same day, as we see the same dealer who he plans selling his car to. But this time the dealer agreed to buy for 1.5 million. However, Mezu hi and calls his friend to help him out, which he did. We get back to Waisu but Mezu believed what had happened was just a dream. He greeted Kamzi and the principal repeated herself but with those words, Kamzi seemed to be shocked. However this time Mezu didn't steal any of the charity money and head straight to the plane. Day 3 and he woke up again still in Nigeria. Here he begins to panic and head straight to his friend house knocking which is isn't happy with the way Mezu knocks. And he asked Mezu if someone died from the way his knocking. Meanwhile, Mezu narrated the whole story to his friend and told him is like he's running mad and something guy happening to him. A lady comes down, seems to be the girl from earlier Bola, Kamzi friend. 
and Mezu is amazed which his friend told him to take this issue to a spiritual person only for his babe to tell him to take her to the supermarket. That head to Wizu place and one other friend, the four that comes up with the plans and other to believe Mezu. They told Mizu their secrets telling him to tell them all they have told him, stating that this would be the only way they all believe him. They all proceeded to asking what other things he did on the first day, which he told them about the money he stole from the charity fund and in his defense, it was all because of the pressure and situation he was in. Wezu is angry after hearing that and told Mizu he's the cause of his own misfortune and they all agreed. Mizu started crying saying he tried to fix it the next day, they come up with a plan to break the loop. They go to a church, hospital, native doctor, and many other places. The native doctor tell him she smell a course and breaking it would be difficult and she gave him something to eat. Mezu looks at his friends and he ate it and started coughing. They all left and the woman wishes them good luck. Mezu continues coughing and he had an accident since he died. The scene then takes us back to when Mezu wakes up and he informs them about him having the same conversations with them. He told them they are five minutes earlier today and he just want to have some fun. They head out and went on partying, days goes by as they all do so. Seems Mezu is beginning to enjoy this until day 99, which when his alarm rings he didn't even bother getting up from the bed. His landlady knocked to wake him but he in from her that his flight was cancelled. He goes out and went to a shop to pick a bread which he nearly died. But Kamsi came to save him and he told her he will still wake up anyways. Kamsi was surprised and told him about the loop and she discussed about her own loop. She told him about her surprise about the money still been in the locker. She informed him that she also told her friend but she believes she isn't serious. She also went to the church, hospital and even mental institution. She told him she learned so many things and just get used to it and that she got hit by a car and she realizes that she could not die. Mezu tells her about the community filled with ants and told her about how an ant bit him on the first day. Kamsi told him same and she narrated a story about her grandmother being the goddess of their village and Mezu becomes angry. Mezu runs back to his friend and Waziu brings the idea of killing her and Mezu isn't happy with that. His other friends said they should sleep together Kamsi and him and they laughed. The next day Kamsi comes to meet Mezu and told him to take her to the witch doctor. They both went and the woman gave them something to eat again. They drank something which the woman told them that she know what she has done. The witch then proceeded to asking her what is a manala. Mezu beg her and told her today something to which the witch informs her to return it. They both believe it was a waste of time because they don't know how to restore what was asked of them. On their way they saw a boy crying and he told them that his mom is sleeping and he tried to wake her up but she isn't responding. Mezu is beaten again by an ant. They take the boy to go see his mom. They rushed her to an hospital. A man comes in and he wants to fight, killing Mezu. They both wake up and are happy that the time changed for them nothing that much but five minutes was a big deal for them and Kamzi narrated what happened after he died. At the notice that Ant was supposed to help them restore what has been taken and if they do whatever they are instructed they will eventually see a new day. Mezu asked her why she was still in the same dress as the one of yesterday. Just then Mezu saw some Ant and it's believed it another sign. They both proceeded to doing their task by helping people and doing what the Ant says. So apparently whatever they did in the previous day stays and it works as they continue helping those in need. Day 110 Although they keep moving 5 minutes at a time but Mezu keep on wondering when he would leave the country. Day 151. They keep on working just until a day when they help someone without the ant requesting for that. They surprised her by getting her a sewing machine. The next day they found out that the time had changed by an hour which was a good thing and the plan doing it such act once a day. The problem now is knowing the difference between an hour taxed and 5 min's tax boosting. They meet their friends who informs them that maybe they need to help more women. Kamsi is with the idea that they go to the school since they have a lot of women there. Just then Mezu friend linked the woman who Kamsi and Mezu helped from Zeno been harassing her. They all decided to meet those who Zeno has been troubling and try helping them. Mezu plans to help his friend Wezu by paying off his debt with Zeno. He donated his 1.5 million and said his friend Toby would help out with the remaining 500,000. He seems not to be interested but Toby later gave in. They paid the debt. Day 154. It's works but Kamsi isn't happy seeing she's bothered about something and she leaves. Mezu meets her and she began crying saying she caused all this. She informed Mezu that she slept with Zeno and it seems this was the punishment for her sin. Mezu tells her that she's always helped people and it's in her DNA and informs her she isn't the bad guy and that the gods sent her to help them out. He consoles her. They all plan to get Zeno. Day 155. Tobe insisted that since Zeno is the problem they should just unalive him. 
but Kamsi tells them that she already did so many times, but he keeps on waking up with her. They group eight surprised. Operation day, they start making inquiries about the debt people owe him and found out it's 50 million. Kamsi is of the suggestion that they all go back to the five minutes task. Weizu is of the opinion that they play sport bet. Since they already relive the day, it isn't going to be a problem since they know what would win and lose the next day making them a massive catch out. They watch and play. Since they won, they went in to pay the debt of those owning. It's works and Mezu is happy saying it remains a bit of time and they will be out. Kamsi asked about once this loop is all done would he still travel. Mezu informs her that he would have missed his flight and he also gave Wazu all his money. To which Kamsi apologizes for. And Mezu tells her he wouldn't mind stuck in the loop just for a few more day and they both looked at each other only for Mezu to be bitten by an ant. Mezu is frustrated. The next scene we see some ant on the floor to which Kamsi is on shock and she tell Mezu the ant brought them to Zeno house. It seems his wife needs help. Inside Zeno house, we see the wife eating and fine. She asked if she was sleeping with her husband. And Zeno wife told Kamsi how Zeno made sure he cancelled her scholarship just for him to sleep with her. She removed her glasses and we see scar on her face, indicating Zeno abuses her. Kamsi asks if there's anything she could do to help. The wife informs her about her passport and the kid passport so she could leave the country. She told them the location of where to get the passport. She walked straight to Kamsi and slapped her. Just then a vehicle appears and took the two of them to Zeno. At Zeno office, he asked them what they went to do in his house. She asked about the scholarship which he isn't surprised about. He shot them and they appeared back in time. Mezu asked Kamsi when it just happened and she told him that she kills Zeno again. She told Mezu that she got only four digits of the pin to the safe and she still need the other four combination. They go back again. And this time she got all pin. They plan. They proceed with the plans even after having multiple fails. They got to Zeno office and took the needful. We are then taken to a gathering where it seems Mezu is trying to sell the dollars they stole from Zeno. Which was successful. Zeno appears at the party with his wife. And he told Kamsi and Mezu that he would be happy killing them both. But just then his wife apologizes for betraying them and they handed the passport to the wife. Everyone at the party approached Zeno and are ready to fight him and his gang. Zeno gang in from him that they can't kill all the people at the party and they left. Everything one at the party celebrated their victory. Mezu and Kamze hugged each other's. We see Zeno leaving the premises. The next day Mezu alarm rings and it seems he already missed his flight. Just then Kamze appears and they laugh together. The movie end reviewing the name of the film. In the post credit scene, we see Zeno and it seems he himself has started his own life loop. Thanks for watching. For more movie review and recaps, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like.